Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Uh, part two of this, what's going on? Uh, so I pulled off the winch, and I, like I said, and I've got all this off, and uh, that's the winch right there with the mount. The reason you have to pull all this out is because it's blocking these guys right here. Look at that. You cannot get to these whatsoever if you have a winch here. And um, you just move this over right here. So. The winch, um, out of the way, you can get to these guys here, and of course, then you can get to, you know, the mounts there, and they're easy enough. Um, the other side here, which is all together, it's actually funny how that CV axle looks like that, but that's the way she sits anyways. Um, yeah, so I've got another knuckle uh, on order for this side right here, um, and I did just do a video about part numbers. It's part, Polaris and part numbers is kind of funny. Um, so you guys may have seen that, may not have. Um, I'm both, I'll be uploading that one probably before I upload this one. But I just want to show you guys where I was at with this is why you have to take your uh, plow or your, your winch mount out. Now, another thing with the winch mount is um, these guys right here, if you have this thing off as often as I've had it because, well, it's a pain. They did a really fine job of welding these nuts on the inside. You can see here. Um, so well as a matter of fact that uh, when you strip one uh, it's not focusing when you strip one you've only got three holding it <laughs> so also these fingers right here will bend I'm oh, sorry these fingers right here will bend so when you've got to put it back in it doesn't want to go back in take a hammer and just tap these things a little bit uh, I think just tap this little one right here actually I think is out I, I can see it just a little bit that's like this one too because when you actually uh, bolt it up it actually pulls it in so you have to bang these in just a little bit. Uh, one, of, This is one of the things I want to actually take care of as well is um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to grind that off because that is welded. Well, they, they, did, uh, they did not want that coming off, did they? Look at that. Oh, come on, focus. Oh, come on, focus! But, yeah. So I, I love, I'd love to address this for sure. Um, and get that that there done out of the way one of the things I did too is that one of the control wires for this You guys see how short this is and I've actually pulled this apart several times So the last time I had this apart I made the wire a lot longer So this actually this will come out and, and pr practically touch that tire from there Like I've got to come out. So now it comes out to like here So the plug for it is really really simple to get to and uh, I don't when I drop my winch out um, It's not in the way so Anyway, I've been beating on this thing here. This is my old one, my worn out one. Um, ball joint hole, bad. Actually, it's right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know if, I don't know if the camera's going to see that. There is a lip on that. Um, right there, there is a lip. And I think that's where that ball joint um, has been moving around. So if I take this one here... That one, oh yeah, that was so smooth. This one here, they beveled it. You can see that bevel. That one's beveled as well on the old one. See, that's a bevel. I don't know why they didn't bevel this, but maybe not. But that one, that ball joint's been banging on that so much that you, I, I, don't, I don't you guys can see that. Mm, nah, you can't. I'm trying to show you on the camera. This one here, maybe if you guys see the difference, how smooth that one looks, how flat. Let's see if I go like that, see how flat that is. And here, like this. See that right in the middle? See that raise right there in the middle? That's what I'm feeling. And that's right where the ball joint would be. So this little guy right here, right there was just working his way. Man, that's a stiff ball joint. I don't even know what I did with the old one. Um, but what I want to do here is uh, show you guys what I do to uh, push the new uh, bushings in. I did um, put a whole lot of uh, corrosion free in this stuff here. I do not want... I mean anti-seize I do not want anything and when I put the new sleeves in somebody else had said to me you're using anti-seize and I said actually I'm not uh I'm going to use anti-seize uh, that was funny I just I just looked over there while I'm talking to you guys a squirrel just stopped right there he's got a big nut in his mouth he's like oh um I was gonna come in there but no I'm gonna go the other way uh squirrel <laughs> uh so yeah so basically what I do is I'll get the uh bushings uh, kind of put them in place here and I actually put them in the vise with um, I've actually got an impact socket uh, this this new vise actually this this is I bought this from Canadian Tire it's a six inch and the nice thing is is I can actually open this thing up far enough 
I did mess this thing up a little while ago, beating on it. Um, but I can open this up wide enough where I could get both seals in here at the same time. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to do that because I really don't like to put uh, excess force on it, right? But that's how I'm going to actually do this. I'm going to put this in the vise with the bushing there, a socket here, bushing there, a socket there, and just kind of press them in that way. So if I can set my camera up to show you guys, that's what I'll do. So in this case here, I've got the uh, well, 17 and the bushing. So what I would do, what I'm going to do is actually I'll put a soft side on this side here so I can do one side at a time. Open this thing up. I hate how, I hate how it does that. Um, put that in place. Oh, I don't know if there's going to be enough room. So if I just wiggle this thing in there. To where she starts. Just tap that a little bit so she's in there. I don't want to tap it. I just want to press it in. And I need more. Right, so that's that. About there, bring this in, you square this up. This is the hardest part. Trying to get everything squared. Oh, it's crushing that. No. So. Ah! Live! Get rid of that, because I'm not using it. So this comes in for her. I've actually done it. If you guys are doing this, that's why I hate this style. If you guys are doing this, um, it seems to shave a little off the bushing. Well, she slipped off. Let me just get that up there so it's a little higher. Center it. Oh my God, that's one thing with these arched day arms are kind of a pain. Look at that, it slipped again. All right, there we go. And, bottom out. That's it, done, just like that. And uh, get this thing out, go the other way. Uh, one out. Put that one there, put that there like that. Put this up here like this. I have a bad backdrop there, right? Black, black hoodie on. Um, Alright, let's see if I can move just a bit. Yeah, see right there, see how it's shaving that outside? Let's loosen that off a little bit, recenter this. Doesn't do it all the time, but I've done this a few times now where it's actually shaved it. I'm not gonna hurt that side of it. And there she, she's in and she's bottomed. So that's it. That's how you can do that. Now uh, that's pressed in right there, so you guys can see. Nice. Hope that focuses there. You guys see that? So yeah. And then you take your new take your new seals. Take these guys right here. Um, again, talking about part numbers. <laughs> that's going to be a part number there. One five four thirty six eleven. Um, and now these guys will actually, when they go in here, they actually do stick. Um, when they wear out, which more often than not, and that's one of the things I hate about this design, is it's not this steel piece that fails, it's actually this stupid rubber um, piece around it. Which, to be honest with you, it'd probably be easier for me to find that, but if I just put a regular seal on that, I'm not so sure it would actually function properly. <sighs> and there we go. That is one side right there with the bushings and the seals in them. So 
I will do that here for the other side. Uh, also, what I've got to do is I do have new sleeves. Uh, part number, again, I don't know if you guys want that. But these sleeves, um, if I show you, this is why I'm replacing them. You can see the amount of corrosion in the middle um, and how raised that is. And I've never seen, I've actually never seen corrosion that bad before, like ever. So this is where it's going to get messy because I actually want to put anti-seize on this whole thing on the outside of it um and then uh, <laughs> i actually pretty in bed, I, I put the seals in too uh too early i just wanted to show you guys because i still have to actually put the sleeve in there and the seals are kind of in the way so i'll do that and uh i'm just gonna call this done like i said this guy right here if you i, I actually put him because there's a lip right here so if you i don't mind showing you guys this really quick if you have a vice um, bring it in so it's sitting on these two lips the lips here and straight up you can bang this thing out it bangs out pretty easy it does have a retaining clip there i did put some anti-seize on it so it does have that clip um you separate it to get it off and then knocks out pretty easy and then to get it back in um all i did actually was just turn this thing around and uh board and hammer and she just pops right in so that's easy to get in easy to get out that's the one thing i will say with the exception of having to tear this whole thing apart. Yeah, I mean, come on. Look at the amount of work you had to do to do the control arms. Um, most automotive isn't quite this intense. Mind you, I have seen bolts worse than that um, on vehicles. The fact that I've actually got to uh, re remove a winch that not all vehicles have to begin with, um, those would be accessible if this was like a lower... Uh, grade machine. Uh, this is the premium trail, which actually the premium trail doesn't exist. So I don't know if this is the premium or if this is the trail, uh, but it's listed as the premium trail. But I digress again. Um, that's it. I'm going to call it done for now. Uh, that upper ball joint right there is fine. Um, that guy there, I pulled him out yesterday, popped him out, uh, put any seeds inside that on that ring, the retaining clip in there, make sure she comes out easy enough. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side there when I do this side. I might show you guys this side. I may not because it's basically once I've shown you this and you guys have seen me press bearings before. That's why I didn't show you this. Um, that's easy enough to do. Um, the retaining clip there. Uh, this has all been anti-seized as well. That whole thing on the inside there. You guys just see the anti-seize in there. I put anti-seize in that too because, well, this one here, I think part of this is my fault because of cleaning this corrosion out. I think I may have wallowed this hole out too much. I think. I don't know. I can't be for certain. Um, maybe to just with the wear that the uh, bearing did because that bearing I don't know where I did with that bearing race um, but that thing was worn out pretty good all right long enough video like I said I'm going to go ahead and uh, and he sees the crap out of this right here get that thing put in I'm going to press in this other side and I'm going to call this done for now uh, thanks a lot for watching guys uh, if it, there's any other progress like when I've, I've got to put the battery in I do have to change the belt in the machine I still have to do that and of course I have to get this side here done so uh, what I'll probably do is when I get this side done because I didn't do any of this on video um, when I do this side done I'll actually do I will record all this side just so you can see exactly how that whole side comes apart once the winch is out getting these bolts out everything um, I'll show you that all right Stay tuned for part three, I guess, uh, while I'm trying to get this thing together. I still have to buy that knuckle, however. I don't have the funds for that right now. So once I have the funds, that's when I'll continue on this side here. So it might be a little bit before I can get it. But when I do, done. This side here, basically, I could probably have this thing knocked off today, the way she's going. All right, thanks a lot for watching. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and uh, get me to 1,000. I appreciate every single one of you guys. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.